I may need some noise, my sweet babies. I'm gonna go ahead and jump right in since my time is limited. Can we be done with the fucking zombie bullshit already? God damn it. Please, enough is enough. I was on Facebook earlier and uh, one of my friends posted a link to a trailer for a movie called Zom Beavers. <laughs> I'll go ahead and let that sink in for just a second. Zom Beavers. That's either a morbidly interesting or macabrely uninteresting thing. And if you haven't guessed yet which one it is, I'm going to let you take a couple wild swings. Nobody needs that. Uh, the world just, it's, it's weird. The world's a weird place, and it's getting weirder all the time. You think about the stuff that's going on out there. Right? Bear with me, I think Costco is a fucking weird part of the world. <laughs> I, just hear me out. Now, now Costco is, I, I guess, like a retail warehouse club. I, I guess where you, I presume, pay dues for the privilege of getting to buy at bulk or discount prices anything. I mean fucking anything. Costco sells coffins. Did you realize that? You can go online. You can go to Costco's website and click on the departments tab and right there between food and gift baskets and furniture is Costco's bond funeral department. That's the truth. So you can go and get like a discount coffin custom made to your specs. I don't know man, like like where do you go from here? Like <laughs> That's, that's crazy to me. And here's the thing, though. Like, if you're more of a cremation guy, Costco's got you, big shooter. They sell urns, too. It's crazy to me. But for me, I think it's just, like, really good cosmic poetry that the same place that I can go to buy bulk hot dogs and off-brand energy drinks also deals in equipment for the afterlife, you know? You know what I mean? So, it's just it's perfect. So, uh, my name's Kyle, I'm 28 years old, and I have a bachelor's degree in English literature. <laughs> yeah, go ahead, come on. So, uh, something that I've learned is that when what you have is 28 years and a BA in English, what you get is a lot of time for self-reflection. <laughs> and that's, a, that's a, I mean, it's okay though. I still have my dreams. You know, I, I still got my dreams. <laughs> last night, yeah, yeah, no, it's, it's dreams. I, last night, for instance, since this is my audience, last night, for instance, I dreamt that my dog actually liked me. And then I woke up. It's time for work. And that, that buzzed the tower a little bit, I'm not going to lie, so... Recently I went through a period of, of seriousness, I was very grave, I was very serious, I was being very hard on myself about my life. English major. And I don't know what got me into this period of seriousness, but I know what snapped me out of it. And that's when I sat down at my computer, I was like, you got to write out your will! I said it in that voice. And so I did. And now, I have a file on my computer that contains a paragraph of faux legal mumbo jumbo, followed by the sentence, Kyle, what are you doing? You don't own a fucking thing. You're beautiful. Thank you guys very, very much.